Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. And in today's episode, we are in the Brown District, and we are going to be making a pretty big purchase from Tango. Uh, I have a second beacon, and I want to get enough, uh, <laughs> enough blocks that I can make a full, uh, second beacon. I've got one in my base right now. So, we're about to go through a couple of diamonds. Uh, <laughs> so let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. And then let's go ahead and craft those into blocks right away. Basically for a full beacon base, a full four level beacon, you need two full stacks of iron blocks plus an additional 36 blocks. So, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna use a good chunk of our of our iron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That I think will be enough. Uh, let's just do one of those, and then let's see here. That would be twenty one. So I need fifteen more, and we'll just do this. One, two, three, two, three. There we go. 36 iron blocks. That is a lot. That is... Wow. That was a significant portion of my diamonds. Uh, but we need those for a reason. I think the other thing we're going to do is we're going to run over to Exuma's Purper Shop and buy ourselves a fair amount of Purper as well. And actually, someone told me that TFC is selling... Um, End rods, and I'd like to get my hands on some of those as well, although I don't know if he has any left. And I may be incorrect. It's possible that maybe um, there aren't actually any end rods for sale, and I just heard incorrectly, but while we're here, I might as well take a peek. So let's see here. Uh, nope. 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 And nope. Okay. Uh, actually... I am going to need a few stacks of obsidian as well. So let's buy those. Oh man, my diamonds. I think this is all the diamonds I have. So after this, I'm going to be kind of broke, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I think we'll spend a couple more diamonds on some more purper. And then I'm going to head into the nether and go to the location of the project that we're going to work on on this episode. So let me get to it and I will be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. And this is where we're going to be working today in this shop right here uh, or in this area. I should say what I want to do is I want to take the end portal here and I want to turn this into a proper looking end portal room, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Um, now, there is a thing here where we can, where you can, uh, replicate the Ender Dragon egg or something like that, I believe, that Exuma set up, but, uh, it's not super complicated, and it's, uh, I, I have it on good authority that he's got more Ender Dragon eggs that he is ever going to use in his entire lifetime. Uh, I do want to set my spawn to, actually, no, I don't want to set my spawn to right here. I changed my mind. I want to set my spawn to somewhere else. How about, um, not there either. Let's set my spawn to like right here. That'll work. And, uh, that'll give us, that way when we, you know, go in and out of the end, uh, or we're gonna have the ability to actually, you know, respawn here instead of having to travel all the way from our dwarven base or from our house or whatever, uh, back here. So, let's just tear up some of this stuff. There we go. And I did go ahead and make... Uh, I did also go ahead while I was at the other shop, uh, or while I was in the um, Brown District, I did go ahead and buy quite a few stacks of logs as well, because we're going to need some chests and things like that. So, let's put these building materials in here. Uh, I'll just drop my ender chest here. So we should have a pretty fair amount 
of purper and obsidian. And then I think I'll just put kind of everything else in here. I'll take off my elytra, put that here. Put you on. Flybo can go in there. Actually, let's take the ender chest with us. Um, and that should be good, I think. Okay, so let's head into the end and set up our beacon. Because that is why I'm here. I want the beacon so I can get endstone in large quantities. And I may regret this later, but uh, we're going to go for it. <laughs> we're going to go for it. So let's see. Uh, I think I'm just going to set it up right here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. So let me get this beacon set up, and then I'm going to start mining away at some endstone. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So I went into the end. I got about, I think it was like six stacks of endstone, something like that. Uh, not too bad. And now I have gone ahead and put the beacon right here by our little setup. Uh, so we should be able to give ourselves haste too, except I didn't actually grab an iron ingot. There we go. Uh, and let's put this stuff in here. And we said this was kind of our everything else chest. There we go. So, haste, haste, iron ingot, go. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to use my silk touch pick for the majority of this mining, because then if there are silverfish, in theory, it shouldn't affect anything. Uh, and that's kind of important. So, let's go ahead and start hollowing out uh, some area around this room. Oh, that was, that was falling. Uh, and then we've got this whole setup here. I didn't realize that went down that far. Okay. Um, let's do this. There we go. This also needs to be dealt with because this is kind of horrendous. Um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, anyway, Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to tear up as much of this as I can. I I would really like to not destroy the redstone if possible. Uh, at least not right this second. But I think it's going to have to be done uh, at some point. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get some stuff hollowed out here, guys. And I'll come back to you with some progress in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I've got a lot of this room hollowed out and ready to be built in. Now, uh, before I go and destroy all this redstone, I do just want to talk with Exuma and make sure it's okay. I, I really don't think it'll be an issue um, because he's got a billion dragon eggs. But just in case, I just want to make sure. So I sent him a message uh, and I'm waiting for him to reply. Um, but... My time, it's already early evening, which means where he is, it is much, much later, and he's probably sleeping right now. So I think what we're going to do is we'll kind of work on this half of the room, and then uh, maybe next episode we'll tackle the other half after I speak with Exuma. And just make sure that it's okay. Um, so that's kind of the plan. But we've got all of this hollowed out. I did go ahead and move the nether portal. It was right here, and it is synced up properly, so you go through here and it takes you to the spot in the nether. Um... But let's start, let's start grabbing some stuff and let's see if we can kind of work out a little bit of a design here. Now, I want to use end materials in this room primarily. We might work in some other things, too. I'm thinking maybe some, like, acacia logs or something. I don't really know. Um, but I've got a few ideas. So I think we'll start by tearing this little section here up. And I'm thinking I want... Uh, I, I know that I want this to be, I, I don't want this to be the top level. Um, there's also the matter of the silverfish spawner. I think it's like right here. Yeah. And this guy uh, is also a little bit of an issue because um, I don't want to destroy that. I want to keep that around. We can deal with it, though, because silverfish can't, can't spawn from the spawner uh, if the light level is too high with the exception of stone and its variants. So as long as they can't, uh, as long as there's no stone for them to spawn on, 
uh, or stone brick and, you know, that, uh, that kind of stuff, uh, then we're fine. So I think we'll ultimately, when we do this room, uh, we'll be able to still make this work. In fact, I think I'm going to get rid of, oh, um, okay. So, okay. So I can still one shot them. Uh, we need to put some torches down here so nothing can spawn, it appears. That's fine. Uh, let's just torch that up. And we'll tear this little bit. And there shouldn't be anything here that they can spawn on top of. If we do this... Um, well, that silver... Oh, hi, Silverfish. I'm not sure what he's spawning on. I don't think there's anything they can spawn on right now, unless they can spawn on the spawner itself. Which I suppose is possible. Let's just put a... a, a clay block on... No, no, he's definitely spawning here. Hmm. Okay. So we may have to... Uh, I didn't think they could spawn if the light level was high enough. Well, it's light level 11. So maybe... No, they're definitely still spawning. Okay. So, in that case, I'm going to have to figure something else out. I may have to get permission. Uh, well, maybe not permission, but I may have to just go ahead and break that spawner too. We'll see. I mean, there are other silverfish spawners in the game. And I don't particularly see this one being used for uh, a farm once this room is all decked out and looking good. But uh, you never know. So I'm thinking I'll talk with the people about that as well. Um, that's too bad. I was really hoping <laughs> that we'd be able to uh, to make this work. Oh, well, these things happen. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll just leave this as is. Spawner is, like, right here-ish. Um, so there shouldn't be any silverfish that can spawn. Um, anyway, let's start working on this side of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this floor up right here. This is our floor level. So, let's see. If we go in here and we grab... I know I want to... You know, I know I want endstone bricks in the build. So I'm thinking... Maybe we'll do something like this, and this will be kind of our pathway that leads up. Now, unfortunately, there's no slabs or stairs for endstone, so maybe with considering that, maybe we'd be better off using purper as the main platform just because there are purper slabs and stairs. So if we make some of those, uh, let's make a few more. And let's make a few purple slabs as well. There we go. So maybe we do something like this. And then we'll put our stairs here, just temporarily. Uh, we should probably put some torches back here to light that up. And then I'm thinking end stone like this, maybe? How's that look? Um, hmm. We'll put some purple like this. Or maybe, actually, maybe that would be the place to put these purple stairs. And we can maybe wrap the whole portal in those like that and then we could maybe do that up here as well uh i need more purple what a weird name for a block by the way purple like i mean i understand okay it's purple but purple i mean come on now anyway um let's go ahead and finish wrapping the portal this will just make it look a little bit more symmetrical from both sides. There we go. And let's just see how that looks. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, 
Now I want some purple pillars. Um, we, that means we need more purple stairs. So let's just make a decent amount of these guys. And we're essentially going to do something like this, I think. There we go. And then same right here. So we're just kind of framing out the portal. Like that. And actually, let's drop a torch up here too, just to make sure that nothing can spawn up there. There we go. Okay. So we've got this portal kind of like so. And then I think... Oh, I've still got my purple stairs right here. There we go. Maybe we do... Something... Like this. And we'll put our slabs... Like... That, maybe? Nah, not these two. Not those two. That's not a good look. There we go. What do we think of that? Mmm. Can't say I'm a huge fan. How about that? It's a little better. Purper doesn't come in fences or walls, does it? I don't think it does. No, I didn't think so. And neither does stone... Neither does endstone, and yeah, okay. So if we're going to do some sort of something there, we'll have to take that into consideration. Um, maybe on these levels, maybe there, we can put stairs like this. Does that look a little bit better? I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, I think that does look a little bit better. Okay, then... I think we're going to get rid of this endstone here. And instead, I think we'll use endstone brick. Like this. And going up, like so. So we get kind of that effect... Um, I think ultimately a lot of this is still going to get peeled back, but as I said, I don't want to do that until I've talked with Exuma about it. Uh, let's also, let's just go ahead and fill this in. Let me get this all filled in with endstone brick, guys. I'll come back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back, and I just had a better idea. Uh, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I don't want to use Herper for this main pathway, because I think it's going to look kind of bad. Uh, but I think what we can get away with instead, believe it or not, would be birch. Uh, and I did bring some birch for exactly this reason. So, let's actually make some. Um, my inventory is kind of destroyed right now. Uh, let's just put a bunch of this stuff away. There we go. And I think we'll make some birch slabs and some birch stairs. There we go. And our pathway here will be birch like this, because I think it actually goes relatively well with the end stone and with uh, the purper. Like, in this case, it actually works relatively okay, uh, and I think it's a decent look. So for now, we'll go with that. We still need to work out everything else about this room, though. And I know... I mean, we've got, obviously, purple options. I'm thinking... We're only going to worry about this half of the room. So let's see what we're at for size here. If we got one... One, two... Uh, let me just lay down some blocks. Two, three... Uh, actually, five... One, two, three, four, five would be over there. So maybe we pull this back one more level. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got that fixed, I think. Uh, so now I'm going to worry about this little area. And I had to kind of space this part out a little bit differently because there's not enough uh, 
there's not enough room for it to be five, uh, two, two, five, well, we could technically do five wides, but then we'd have one, a single one wide in the middle, and I think that would look a little weird. Uh, so, I decided to go ahead and change that up as well. Uh, but what I want to do is knock out the spaces behind, and we'll just put that here, and I'm just going to do something like that, there we go, and then here we'll knock out the spaces behind these pillars as well, like so, and we're essentially going to create, uh, some layers, we're going to do some layering here, and I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. There we go. That looks good. All right. Now, I was originally thinking of doing that with obsidian, but I think that would be a little bit too much. So, instead, I want to try a couple other materials. Uh, I think we'll grab some of the birch, and I want to try out some endstone brick as well. So, first of all, let's try... Uh, I don't know that the endstone brick would necessarily look great since it's on the floor. But, on the flip side of that, if we work in some purple here, and then put our endstone bricks in like that, I don't think that looks terrible. Um, so that's one option, is the endstone brick. Uh, I I tried the obsidian already off camera, and I didn't really like the way that looked, although I do still want to use obsidian in here. So let's try maybe... Let's maybe try out the acacia. This might look a little weird, but let's give this a try. What if we do something like that? And then here... We put, uh, let's see, and then this would, this would basically end up being endstone brick as well. One, two, three. And then here we would go maybe endstone brick like this. Like that, perhaps. And then the obsidian would go here in this part as kind of like a centerpiece, almost like an eye. It almost looks like an eye. I kind of like it, actually. Um, this needs to be changed, but we could change that. Pr oh, this is already endstone brick. Trying to make endstone bricks out of endstone bricks. Go self. There we go. Hi. You kind of came out of... I mean, I'm building end stuff, so I guess it's not... It should, I shouldn't be that surprised, but still. Um, this is actually kind of interesting. What if we did that? And then did the same here. Just kind of connecting this frame a little bit. That's interesting. It's an interesting effect. I don't know if I necessarily want to use it, but it does create an interesting color choice for sure. Hmm. Let me see what else I can work out, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I finally came up with a design that I like. So, basically what we got is we've got uh, purple slabs in the front row, kind of like this. Let's just gather up all this good stuff. Here we go. So you got these kind of purple, this kind of purple border, and then we're going to end up with this. And it's actually pretty simple. So we take acacia logs going across like that, so half the log is hidden by the purple slab, which I think is a really cool uh, effect that that creates. I like it quite a lot. Because you get a little bit of the acacia, 
but not too much of the acacia. <laughs> and I think that's a really good thing. Uh, gotta do that here and up here as well, and then also back here. And I did decide as well to change this up so that we'd have a five, a one, and a five. Like that. Uh, so we got that. Now the next step is to take obsidian, uh, and preferably some sort of like guide block. There we go. And go uh, one, two, three, four, basically four high with that. So one, two, three, give me a guide block. Four. And like so. Then we take endstone brick and bring that along here. We'll punch out those two and put obsidian in. Take our birch stairs. Oop, that one's upside down. And of course, the thing that I put away was my axe. Wow, I just noticed that my pickaxe is super low right now. And then finally, we take some cobblestone walls and put them in like this. And that creates this kind of design. And I think it actually looks pretty good. I haven't worked out yet what exactly I'm going to do right here. I'm kind of leaning towards just basically filling this in with end stone like that. And then maybe, mm, yeah, I haven't worked, I haven't exactly worked that part out yet, but uh, I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So let me get that applied to the rest of these wall sections and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got that applied to all of the wall sections and I think it looks pretty good. I haven't figured out yet what I want to do for a ceiling in here, but we need to do something. Um, and I don't want it to be one color because that'll just not look awesome. Uh, but we've got our birch walkway. We've got our end stone over here. We've got this all looking very interesting. And I think all in all, considering purple uh, and end stone, I think it looks pretty good. It's a start at least. It's, it's certainly not done, but it's a start. Uh, but unfortunately, guys, I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode. If it's a little bit of a shorter one, I'm a little, I'm sorry, but uh, until I get the okay from Exuma I, uh, to get rid of this redstone -y bit, I don't want to go too crazy here. So that's going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.